What's going on guys, it's Brennan here back with a brand new video and as you can tell this is a little bit of a different video compared to most but today I want to talk about the cars that I almost sold the Alltrack to buy instead. So before I begin I'm not going to sell the Alltrack anytime soon especially now that I put more miles on it and modified it more. And overall I love this car and if I didn't I would have sold the car already. So the first one which is probably the one I regret not doing the most is a BMW 340i in a manual. So there was one car that came up for sale in my area that would have been feasible for me to sell the Alltrack for and pay a couple grand more to get a B58 manual uh, 340i with the M Sport package. It was, I believe, Alpine white with the beige interior. Uh, which wasn't perfect and also had relatively high miles, it was like 70,000 miles. I didn't want to deal with selling the car and that was still while the Alltrack market was relatively low. I think I would have gotten like 27-ish for the car if I sold it privately and the guy with the 340i was asking around 28. So it, was, it didn't make the most sense for me to sell and you know pay more for a different car. And ultimately I also got the Mark II right around then. So I didn't want to put any more money into a car I did not need to put money into. The next car I also considered selling the Alltrack for was a 996 Porsche 911 Carrera 4, I believe it was. So it was another manual car, relatively cheap. This was before the 996 market really went up. And I also should have probably done this now that the 996 market is really skyrocketing. But at the time I didn't do it because I don't think the car had the IMS bearing replaced. And also practicality wise, I was working as a tennis coach at the time. So I had to carry around like a lot of tennis gear, you know, ball, hoppers of balls, stuff like that. And the Porsche would not have been the most practical car for that. Obviously with the Alltrack, I have a lot of room in the trunk and around back so I could fold down the seats, throw all my gear in that and not have any issues. But with the Porsche, practicality was an issue. Obviously I only had two seats. So, you know, going out with friends and stuff wasn't really ideal. And also reliability, like having a 15 year old car with nearly 100,000 miles isn't really ideal, especially with Porsches when, you know, they can break and they're very expensive. That was one car I sort of wish I also sold the Alltrack for, but realistically it would have been a perfect car. Now the next car is also pretty similar to the 340 and that would have been an Audi S4 or S5, like the B8.5 generation. I go back and forth with this car a lot. You know, you hear one on the road with a supercharger and an exhaust and it sounds amazing and then you want it, but then, you can't find one that's in good condition around your area. So it was one of those cars that kept going on and off for me. And obviously I did not go forward with any of them, but I had a friend that had an S4 and he ultimately blew his motor. So that was another deterring factor for that car. But again, reliability, insurance, going through the process of selling and buying. It wasn't a car that I was so drawn to that I needed to buy it. And now the S4 market's going up pretty high and you know, day by day, put more miles on the Alltrack. So the value of that car isn't really increasing much compared to the market of other cars. So right now it doesn't make much sense for me to sell the Alltrack to get anything else. Uh, but basically those were like the three cars that really stood out to me for selling. I was also looking into like E92, 335s, uh, back when they were only like 10 grand, like for the N55 ones. When it comes down to practicality and stuff like that, this car is, basically perfect for me. It makes the most sense for my day to day life. So I don't really regret not selling it. And you know, if the right time came, I'll definitely upgrade it. But for now, I have some plans in the future that I'll address in a later video uh, with, you know, upgrading the all track, the motor stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to stay tuned and watch my next video. But for now, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments if you would have gone through with any of these cars. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.